You wonder why your ass itch? It's because you need to stop immersing your ass in ingredients that are harmful to your body and start treating it with products that nourish, revive, and renew the skin you are in. B-N-A-T-U-R-A-L-E-A-P-O-T-H-E-C-A-R-Y.com is the answer to your problem. All products are handmade with love by a female veteran using natural ingredients. Try the awesome smelling, skin loving, great black soap from B.Black Collection. Handmade with African black soap, activated coal, and hemp seed oil. Using natural products that can make the difference in your skin and Be Natural Apothecary, spelled E-A-P-O-T-H-E-C-A-R-Y.com is here for it. So give your skin and your ass hope. Try the great black soap as well as other splendid products at BeNaturalApothecary.com. David, 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 David Banner. All right, what's happening? This is David Banner. Welcome to the David Banner Podcast. We got a real special episode today. We're going to go live with the fans, the friends. We're going to spread it around, whatever y'all want to talk about, whatever questions you have for anybody that's on here, that's on live, however we do it. We're going to give our people an opportunity for their voices to be heard. One of the reasons why I created the David Banner Podcast so we can say whatever the fuck we want to say. We sit up and wait for somebody else to report our news and hear our voice. That should have never happened. So, I had a very special guest. I would call him my friend. I don't know if you feel the same way about me. Definitely but, my uh, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the, my friend. The legendary... Young guru, bro. Do you want to update if they've been behind a rock? Just oh, some. Man. First of all, bro, I, I want to commend you for the man that you are, bro. This, this Thank David Banner Live, man, the father that you are. Tell them some of the stuff you do, bro, just in general. I'm just an engineer, man. You know what I mean? I like to mess with sound, brother. That's basically what I do. You know, I, I jumped on here, man, because we need this talk today, real talk, man. Like, it's a lot of times when we get into these feelings and when we get into uh, these sort of states, we got to communicate with each other because I know it's so many, the range of emotion in the neighborhood is so crazy right now. You know, half the brothers is angry and want to take up arms. Half the brothers is like, well, what are we going to do? You know, brothers and sisters, not to leave the sisters out. It's just like us as a people are again faced with that question of what do we do? And, you know, I love the, the fact that me and you have conversation behind the scenes on the phone. We talk a lot. But I love the fact that you are now projecting that to the world. So that's why I logged on, man, because it's like I almost need that talk from you today because right. my spirit and the way I feel right now is like it's just pure anger. Okay. And I don't know how many times we're going to watch this over and over again, how many hashtags we're going to make. Like this thing is really affecting me, bro. Well, let me tell you how how I feel. Um, bro, between you and I, um, I, I, I don't even think ninth one. I don't even think ninth knew, bro. Three months ago, um, I almost died. I was um, in a really bad accident. I didn't know that. I'm sorry, um, bro. I still have a concussion to this day. Mm. And I realized something, bro. First of all, and I'm just going to be very, very frank with you. We got to stop acting like these are isolated incidents. Absolutely. There's a systemic problem in America. And we keep addressing each situation like it's brand new. And like we fucking surprised. We not. Right. I said this a long time ago, and I meant it, bro. There's only two things that white supremacy respects. It's the loss of life or the loss of finances. Until black people stop spending their money with these folks, until they feel like... Because I, I want to tell you something, bro. If you do something to an innocent, as a black person, if you do something to an innocent person from the Asian community, who's coming to see you? Somebody yeah, from their fucking they community. Yeah, they, they, they coming. Come. Yeah, Fuck with yeah. a Russian if you want to. Guess who's coming to your fucking uh, community? I mean, coming to see you to your motherfucking house. If you do something to a white kid, an innocent white kid, matter of fact, if you do anything to their children, period, they're coming to pull you out of their motherfucking house. My problem is this, bro. We keep posting memes and fucking videos. At what point are we going to do something? Right. Like, bro, right. I'm the type of person I want to do something. And what we don't understand, if we keep posting shit... We, we become poster children for white supremacy because we show other races of people what we are not willing to do. Right. We keep posting right. shit. So this is what I'll say. We have all of the tough rappers. 
We got all of the, of the tough people in our community, but people can handpick anybody out of our community, do anything that they want to. Where are the soldiers as it pertains to that? It's so, ridiculous. So, so for me, bro, if you notice, I've been quiet, bro, like what, for the last five, six months? The right. Re the reason is because, bro, I've been doing this, for, I dedicated six years of my life, like, and that's all I did. And I realized, bro, it's no different than what the minister says. It's no different than what Elijah Muhammad said. It's no different than, 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 than what any of our leaders said. There's not a, a deficit of leadership. It's what the everyday ordinary person is willing to do. How right. can you expect somebody to come from outside of your community to handle some shit that you won't handle right there? Right. And, and, right. and, 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 and to me, bro... It's, 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 I'm just tired of fucking talking. I'm tired of memes. I'm tired of all this fucking jabbering back and forth. They don't jabber with us. They come to our motherfucking homes. Right. So, so for it's me, real. what I've started noticing is that everybody wants somebody else to do something. They want David Banner to put his life. They want Young Guru to put his life on the line. Sali to put his life on the line. Regina to put his life. Scott to put his life on the line. But what are you willing to do? Or what are you willing to not do? Right. Like, right. like what are you like, willing to give up? What are you willing to right. give up? But see, here's the, here's, the, here's the problem. At the same time that I get that argument where people say, oh, well, I'm posting to get the message out. Okay, once the message is out, I don't want you to confuse that simple post as organizing or mobilizing. Mm -hmm. Those are two totally different things. Mm -hmm. What happens psychologically is somebody goes, okay, I put up a post about this, so I did my part, and you go about your day. Mm -hmm. That's not the solution. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely not the solution. The mobilization and the organization behind what that post is. I'm a photographer, right? Mm -hmm. One of my favorite photographers said, the photo in and of itself does nothing. Mm -hmm. It's what that photo is supposed to make you do. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to get so upset at the photo that you're supposed to then go do something, do something. about the condition that created do the something. photo in the first place. Word. So there's a couple of things that we have to figure out, right? Mm -hmm. The number one thing that we have to figure out is who is we? Because mm -hmm. we say that word all the time. We need to do this. We need to do that. Who is we? Mm -hmm. What is that one defining thing that will bring everyone together, minus your religion, mm -hmm. minus whatever your fraternal order is, mm -hmm. minus whatever uh, uh, sexual orientation you are, mm -hmm. minus whatever? What is the thing that brings all of us together? Because, because what I'm brings tired, them, I'm tired of getting these cause, rules. Because what brings them together is our black ass. Yes. Anything that yes. they argue with, they will all come together. I don't... It, <laughs> they say... I saw, I saw, I saw a, uh, uh, I saw, a, I saw, I saw something one time that said, "What, what, what, what keeps two two people who are not black, uh, what keeps them together? It's keeping a black person down. When a policeman pulls you over, they don't ask you if you're straight, gay, Muslim, Christian, all of the things that we stay separate about." Right. And, and why right. isn't the death of a young child or innocent man or innocent woman? not good enough for us to come together. It seems like it has to get worse and worse and worse and worse every fucking time. And 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 can I can I can I can I add one other thing to what you said brother? It's very important yes, for is that not only do we have to identify who we are, yes. we have to identify who they are. Yes. We got to stop. Yes. That's one thing that I really respect about the young generation of of activists. Them motherfuckers Say who you are, where you live at, where you work. You yes. feel what I'm saying? They and, do all the research, yes, sir. And, and and the truth is, I'll just say this, bro. And 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 the reason why I have a tendency to to fall back is because we say things that are real, and then they are they they'll try to put us in prison or take away our whole career, and then the same people that you fight for then won't take up for you. What I'll say is this. If something happens to a white kid, every black person on this planet knows that someone is going to pay for it some right. kind of way, okay? Right. Absolutely. So the day that a cop, the day that a innocent uh, or, 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 or civilian knows that you put your hand on an innocent black man, woman, or child, there are things to, that you have to pay for it. And just right. like they lynch us, and understanding lynching has nothing to do with a rope. Right. Lynching Absolutely. has to do with a Absolutely. public display of aggression. Yes. 
Yes. You feel what I'm and saying? And death. And death. At right. the end of the day, this was a public display and this man died. Mm -hmm. I don't care what the situation was. First of all, this man didn't have a, a firearm, nothing on him. You could say he's resisting arrest for an hour. I don't care how long he, he was resisting arrest. Once you get this man subdued in a position to where he cannot move, you put handcuffs on that man and you put him in a car. I don't care what it was. Arrest the man. You don't stick your foot, your, your knee on this man's neck and suffocate him to death. This What you just described is exactly what a lynching was. It is a public display. Why? Because I'm showcasing my power. I'm the police. So when I come around, you got to do what I say. Otherwise, that threat is there. Right. But watch this, Guru. In the Eric Garner case, let me tell you something that I, I haven't heard many people say. In the Eric Garner case, this is crazy. Where was Eric Garner when he got choked out? You know? Out, yeah, outside. He was in his hood. Yes. And everybody yes. in his hood was standing around. Yes. And four or five cops in our neighborhood took the life of a man that stays where you stay at. Yeah. But if 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 we you know it's 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 just to the point where we have to stop feeling like we are part of America. I feel the same way in politics. I feel like the same. Negroes hollering that they Democrat or Republican. Them motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you. Neither side don't give a shit. You better find see, a way to get something. There, there's also this argument too there where it's like, look, I am part of this, mm -hmm. and I deserve this. You know why? Because it was paid for in blood. It was paid for in blood. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I have a right. I deserve my peace. And I'm not asking you for nothing extra. I'm asking you to live up to your own tenements. Mm -hmm. What you wrote down is your rules and regulations. I'm asking you to live up to that. That's what I'm asking you to do is just follow your own rules. But they've Be always you. been fucking liars. They have everything on this fucking planet. They have lied about. And the difference between them and us, they didn't ask the Native American, hey. Can, can we come and live in America with you? No, they kill motherfuckers. They don't right. say, hey, Africans, would you like to come over here and work with? They put their foot in our motherfucking ass. So right. if nothing else, do what they did to you. Nothing else. I'm not even saying be aggressive. Do what they fucking do to you every fucking day, dude. And, 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 it's the, crazy, and the crazy thing, man, is we sit back and actually even care about their criticism. Like, I, I, I don't get that. The biggest problem is most black people want to be white in the first fucking place. Or have that privilege. It's or the, have the it's privilege. It's the same exact thing, bro. Or have the privilege, yeah. It's the same exact thing. So they really hope that this shit is going to go right. If you don't get off your motherfucking ass and do something. I made a conscious decision, and I told my staff this. I said, you know, I don't expect people to do the things that I, I, I have done and sacrifice right. the things that I have sacrificed because you know the 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 hits on our careers um, yes. um, because of the decisions that we make. But what I do think is that each and every one of us, before you criticize or say anything to anybody outside of yourself, ask yourself, "What the fuck have you done? What have you done? Are you willing? You are you are you willing to walk away from your job? If, are, are, are you willing to 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 put some pressure on another motherfucker? Most people are not. They want somebody. It's this Jesus complex. Everybody wants somebody else to bear their cross. The the example of Jesus was to show you that you were God on earth, and it's your responsibility to 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 bear and, and carry your own fucking cross. These murders in our community, they are on us. And think about it. it it's it's no it's no different. Then you dating somebody. If you call a girl up at one o'clock at night and every night she lets you come over after the club, it ain't no reason for you to take her out to dinner. Cause she gonna let I, you I get, in. You feel what I'm I saying? Get now. Yes, sir. So yes, if, sir. If, 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 if we don't show that we are willing to do anything for our lives and that our right. lives are worth just as much as anybody else's life, I think more, then why should they ever stop? They won't. That's yeah, that, their that, nature. What you, what you just said, what you just said addresses the problem on so many levels, not only on us physically being assaulted, mm -hmm. but also on our political landscape. That thing that we saw the other day where Joe went on there with Charlemagne. Mm -hmm. And what the, and what the point is this? I see a bunch of people going around going, oh, well, if you don't vote for him, then that means it's a vote for Trump. No, that's not what we're saying out here. What we're saying is that we are putting you into office. So you owe us. This is us coming and collecting on a receipt. This is not saying 
yo, I'm, I'm, if I don't vote for you, I'm voting for the other man. This is saying, yo, we, us, black people specifically saved you politically. We saved you. So you owe. This is us coming to collect, which means that we need policies and, and, and things written into law for us. There needs to be an addressing of a black agenda, the same way that every other group comes and gets their uh, concerns addressed, right? The ADL is going to come with their concerns. Every other group that represents someone is going to come with their concerns to a politician. But We're saying, we are saying, legally, we need our agenda addressed. That's the whole point. Otherwise, we are the chick at one o'clock in the morning that just let them keep coming over and hit. That's and, it. And, and, and bro, like, there's some things that I'm going to talk to you about off offline because everything isn't meant to say in front of everybody, bro. Oh, I love, I love, I love our offline conversation, yeah, bro. Because yes, I, 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 I actually think it's another level to it, bro. And I'm gonna hip you to it. Yes, sir. And and, and we shouldn't have allegiances to nobody but the black community, bro. I, I give you a quick example, bro. Um, people don't know that Malcolm went and sat down with the Ku Klux Klan. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. People don't absolutely. know that Marcus Garvey went it. Well, the Ku Klux Klan didn't want black folks in America, and Marcus Garvey didn't want to be in America. So we have something in common. You right, want to drop, right. drop a couple of M's to get us on them boats? We don't want to be in this bitch no way. See, right. part of the problem is we really think the system is set up for us. It was set on us. This yeah. shit is not fair. This this shit is way beyond chess or fucking checkers, dude. It's way it's it's a game that's on top of us. And for some reason, we really think America is fucking for us. And a lot of these um um fucking Uncle Tom ass niggas that people think that's for them. And I know y'all said I was gonna calm down. I I told y'all I was gonna calm no, down. No, 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 not today. But, 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 but today is that day. We need. We but need these motherfucking fast, niggas, too. dog. I'm sick of these niggas, bro. A lot of these niggas, they they don't want revolution. These niggas don't want a fucking solution. These niggas want to keep shit quiet so they can keep making money. A lot yeah. of niggas who are successful, they don't want revolution because they made money with us thinking and being the way that it is, dog. Absolutely. And we Absolutely. follow. They ain't calming down for shit. Fuck that. Go somewhere else. No, see, see, the problem is, is most of us are too calm. That is the problem. We too fucking calm. Today ain't the day to be calm at all. Today ain't the day to be calm. We should have been mad. That's why I haven't been mad. That's why I don't talk that much. We should have been mad fucking before we was fucking born. The fact that we're still talking about the same shit that Malcolm X was talking about, bro, it's a fucking problem, my dude. It's a super problem. And, 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 and I get tired, bro. I put my whole fucking life on the line for this shit, dude. And then so-called motherfuckers who, because it's sort of cool to be woke now, bro, it's like, like, bro, the everyday average person is dying for this shit that we theorizing about, bro. This is right. some fucking right. bullshit. So until... We would throw our life away for some fucking dope, for some fucking shoes, for a motherfucker that ain't even yours. And now that's the same way I felt about the coronavirus. Nigga, you don't want to put latex on your dick, but now you want to put on a fucking glove and some mask? Fuck that shit. Now because it's the cops? Oh, now? You, you, like our grandparents. If a black person do something to you, your grandmother or grandfather tell you go kill that nigga. But if 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 it's in, if 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 a, if a white person kills an innocent black person, your grandma say, "Let's pray." What the fuck, we pray? like, come on, man. I get what you're I'm saying. I'm sick of I this shit, saying. my dude. And 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 the reason we gotta why get, we gotta get to this point of mobilization and organization, and that's that's the biggest thing. The action is what is 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 what's mm -hmm. necessary. The talking and the like, the means, all of that for awareness. That's fine, but something has to come out of that. There has to be some sort of organization because our thing was for years. We this is no this is not a surprise to people in the black community that these sort of things happen. But for years and years and years, we were like, OK, nobody sees it. Now we see it every single day on video. Right. It's on video. We watched a man get shot with a shotgun on video. But now that don't even move us. That's the sad part. We are so disconnected. That was what our podcast was, the one that we did before this one. Bro, we do shit now that we would never do in front of our grandparents. We would nah, never. Yeah. And, and now, bro, seeing a black man die, and, and I'm being honest with you, to a lot of people, bro, is fucking entertainment. It's crazy. And, and, and that is the problem. The black man's or the black woman's pain or black people's pain or the descendants of Africans, Moors, whatever you want to call yourself, 
It is entertainment for the rest of the world. We are desensitized, my guy. But let me tell y'all, let me give you my opinion. Okay. The thing that I like about the nation of Islam is that you can identify who is on what side. Yes. The thing that I realize, and I'm writing, I'm actually writing a chapter on a book about this. You have so many um, subsections of people in the black community that number one, we are about 13% of America's population, right? So it's marginalized in the first place. And then right. we are all d- dissected inside of what we do. You got the That's my point of the we, right. what, of the we, of the, of the, what's the thing that brings everybody together minus all these divisions? Because as I've stated before, right, for people that actually go out and do the work and mm-hmm. people that try to have these conversations, one of the hardest things is to sit down in a room with somebody from the Nation of Islam, 5%, mm-hmm. uh, Imam Issa's people, somebody from the Baptist Church, somebody from AMEs, right? Mm-hmm. And have all these different people in there. We can't get two sentences without everybody doing the mental masturbation of, I know more than you, and mm-hmm. this is this, and this is that. We came here to stop a certain thing. Mm-hmm. I had a meeting one time, uh, you know, was in a meeting about stopping the gang violence in North, right? Or, or at least reducing it. We couldn't even get to the point because everybody's arguing their philosophy amongst each other. Mm -hmm. Everybody is divided. It got to be that one thing for us to have a we. Because to be honest, we don't even have a we. Right. We don't. We're not together. That division, that division is separating us to the point where we're not having a collective that you can't be reactionary. It has to already be set up so that when things like this happen, you can move mm-hmm. immediately. So you're so, trying to be reactionary now and move after it happened. The, the man already lost his life. So, so at the end of the day, I don't care if they got if they got kicked off the force. Them men committed murder. Mm-hmm. Yep. There are charges that need to be brought up. That's the next step. It ain't mm-hmm. just about celebrating. Oh well, they can't. Or the, the, the little girl in the park that that call. You know, the, basically calling on this this young black man saying knowing. That her privilege allows her to pick up the phone like that. Bro, and and so let me ask you this question. This is a question I'd like to ask you, bro. It's like, I'll tell you how I feel sometimes. Is that those who are willing to do, we understand how organized they actually are. Because the truth is, somebody told me this, and I never really, I never, really? I, I never really realized this. He said the difference between the police and black people's gangs is that when we call for backup, when we call our homies, we don't necessarily know they're going to come, especially if it's against the cops or somebody like that. But the thing about them is when the police call for backup, they're coming. They, and they, organized. They're no different than, than, than any other group of people, and they are not right. Just because they make laws don't main, mean that they're right. I broke it down to somebody and fucked their head up. Every law that's in the law books right now is something that white people did to acquire America. Mm. They raped, they murdered, they they rode their horses faster than uh, 20 miles an hour through town. Anything that you name on the book is what they did to acquire. And the only reason why they don't want you to break a law is because that's how they came into power. Mm. So these motherfuckers are not right. So mm. my, my thing is, man, it becomes so fucking hopeless sometimes, bro, because those of us who are willing to ride, like, and are really re- willing to sacrifice everything, bro, you can make one conscious step and then these motherfuckers annihilate you. Like, think about every one of our leaders, everybody that has been hurt up to this point who was innocent. You name me one case that was ever solved. One that we saw all the way to fucking, yeah. all the way through, my dude. Nah, it, it ain't one. It's not it one, one, dog. It ain't one. So and see, that's the, point, that's the point that I'm at now. And that's why I jumped on here because it's like having this dialogue is like I'm frustrated and at that point now too where it's like, You've been doing something for so long and feel like you're beating your head against the mm-hmm. wall, right? So it's just like, I need the spirit, and especially the spirit of the youth, right? Because they carry us, and, and our youth is what's going to carry us into our next thing. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's getting to that point for me, to where I'm like, yo, I feel like I'm beating my head against the wall. The, hold on, let, me, let me stop. But the youth are the body. They need the right. brain of the elders, though. That's Absolutely. the problem. It's not the youth. The youth are not the problem. Bro, When I when, when, after, after Mike Brown was murdered... Bro, I was uh, speaking on that. I, I meant the energy of the youth. The energy yeah, of the yeah, youth. No, 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 no you're right, yeah. but I wanted to make sure that they knew it. You know, me and oh, you absolutely. talk all the time. But but what me and Talib, but uh we were up um after Mike Brown had got murdered, bro. And the thing that the uh revolutionaries there said, they said, Where are the elders? 
They said as soon as the motherfucking sun go down and the cameras leave, all the elders leave. They just, all they need somebody, we talked about that today, somebody that they respect, that will stand, and don't, that won't run off and leave them, bro. They are again, waiting, again, bro. What, and this is my advice to the people that are trying to get to the youth and to be a leader. You can't just show up on one day. They mm -hmm. have, have to see you over and over again. And guess what? You're going to have to feed them. When I say feed them, I don't just mean physical food. It could be, but I mean information. They got to mm -hmm. trust you. They got to know your background. They got to know that you are for them. Meaning, you can't just jump out of the woodwork when something happens and say, hey, everybody follow me. I'm the new leader. Yeah. It don't work like that. We got to know what your pedigree is. Mm -hmm. We got to know who you are, which means you have to have engaged with us on normal days. Yep. And you have to live this every day of your fucking life, my dude. It was, yeah, bro. So, yeah. so, so let me, um, we gonna move, bro. Call yeah, me, yes, call sir. me anytime, bro. I, I love you Absolutely. and I, I appreciate you, man. And all the stuff that you do offline, bro, man, Thank I, you, bro. I, I, Thank I, I, I appreciate it, man. And I just want to talk to you about where I am right now, bro. Cause me almost dying sort of, sort of changed my outlook on some things. Okay. And I want, I want, I want to, I want to, I want to build on, on it. Cause I really think the solution is, is that we have to stop waiting on this kumbaya moment and those of us who are small and willing to get together, we all might need to, to move somewhere together. Um, shit, like they did. Where, where does, um, where did, what's the name of them play at? Um, um, Carl Malone and them? Like how them white folks moved to Utah and took that bitch over? Like yeah. we're gonna have to be quiet, man, and stop talking online because we are the only group of people who have a town hall in front of the world. How the fuck right. you gonna have a revolution and they know that you coming? If you always right. running your fucking mouth about shit, dude. Right. It's 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 time, bro. It's yes, it's, it's been time, bro. But we're gonna talk, we're gonna build. We're gonna talk. Hit me offline so we can build. We always build. I love you, brother. My guy, I love you too, man. Yes, sir.